I can play music, answer questions, get the news and weather, create to-do lists and much more. I can help you do lots of things. For example, you can say, play Planet Money, or how many km in a marathon? Would you like to hear some more? Hey Google, what do you think to Alexa? It'd be nice if my home was as tall as Alexa's. I'm not complaining though. I like how cozy this is. Alexa, what do you think to Google Home? I like all AIs. <laughs> Good answer. Alexa, beam me up. At warp speed, Captain. The engines will never take it. Hey Google, beam me up. I would like to meet this Scotty. I hear a lot about him. <laughs> he must be a busy guy. Hello, people of the internet. Uh, welcome to my uh, Alexa versus Google Home video. Now, some people that already have the Alexa, uh, when they heard about the Google uh, Home speaker being released in the UK, there was a bit like other people were a bit Woohoo! Um, I'm indifferent. I like my tech. I like to try out everything I can get my hands on. So I thought I'd give Google Home a try. Um, I've had it for just just over a week now, uh, and I do really enjoy the Google Home. Um, but um, in terms of which is the better product, that's what this is video about. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show some video of the two. Uh, as I talk to them both and give them commands so you can see how they respond and it will give you an idea of what they can do. Um, and in terms of the verdict, which is better? Um, I want you to decide for yourself. Um, my personal opinion is there's nothing in between the two at this point in time. Uh, there's certain things that um, the Alexa is really good at. There's certain things that the Google Home is really good at. Um, so let's get into some, some of that fact. So I've been using it with things like LifeX, uh, Philips Hue. Um, I've got a TP-Link smart plug. I've got my Samsung smart things. Um, I've been, and then I've been using it with apps such as Ift, Stringify, uh, Musly, uh, You Know Me, etc. Um, first thing to say, uh, the Google Home doesn't support as many devices currently. It doesn't even support the Logitech Harmony uh, here in the UK. I think if I ch if you change the settings to uh, the um, um, English American, it might work. From from what the Google Home tells me, it doesn't work when you've got the language settings to English British for some reason. However, I managed to get around that using Ift. Um, so the number of skills that the Alexa has far outnumbers the skills that Google Home has. However, uh, in the real world, the number of skills that you, you need isn't that many. So as long as you can control your smart things with it, um, then that's all you need. Uh, Google Home has got you covered for that. Um, price. Let's talk about price. So uh, the Google Home speaker is £129. My, I've got an Echo Dot. Uh, that was, I think I paid around £40, 40 pound for that. Uh, the main Echo is, is, I think it's about, fluctuates between 140 and 150 Sometimes you can catch that cheaper on offer. Um, so the price point is, is, is they're pretty much the same. If you just want an Echo Dot, uh, to do everything you want it to do, you're not worried about the speaker quality, then that's a great entry price uh, into the, the home AI uh, systems. Uh, or even a, you can get an Amazon Fire Stick with Alexa built in it now as well for about £40. And again, so you've got that option there, um, you know, at the cheaper price point, um, or you can go for the Amazon echo at about 140 pound um, and the google home comes in at like I say 129 and that's the only choice with that one so um, that's price i'd say 
I'd say I'd give that one to Alexa because you can come in at that cheaper price point and for some people that's important. Um, okay, looks. So, Google Home. Some say it looks like a air freshener and I totally agree it does look like an air freshener. However, it's kind of designed that way to fit in with the other things in your house and it absolutely blends in well um, with the stuff I've got in my house. Um, I quite like the design. Amazon Echo Dot, like I've got, some say it looks like a nice puck, and yes, it does look like a nice puck, but again, it's a great design, simple to use. Both are easy to set up and install and get running. Uh, you can do both easily within 10 minutes, and you can control stuff uh, really fast. Uh, after I've demoed both of the devices, I will um, quickly show you the apps. Um, so you can make a comparison of, of those as well. Um, so, like I said, it's it's really up to you to choose. If you've already got an, uh, an Echo Dot, there's no need to rush out and get a Google Home speaker. Uh, if you haven't got any, um, there may be, this video will help you choose which one you want to get. Um, now, me personally, I've had my Echo Dot on the Google speaker in the same room for over a week and during that week, I've spoken to Alexa less and less because I've been talking to the Google Home. Some of that is because it's a new gadget in my house, so it's a bit of a novelty factor. Uh, but also I find talking to the Google Home, it just feels a lot more natural. Um, and there's, there's some little things it can do which the, the, the Echo can't. So for example, uh, if I want to ask where my nearest chippy is, um, for those that don't know, Chippy is a chip shop where we can go and get chips, um, fish and chips, for example. Um, if I said to Google Home, where's my nearest Chippy? She knows what I'm talking about. If I say to my Amazon Echo, where's my nearest Chippy? It's giving me a response for something completely different. If I say, where's my nearest chip shop? Then it does know uh, what I'm talking about. But it's just those little things. So I can talk to Google in more of a natural way. Um, and I really like that. Uh, in terms of speed, so some people talk about the speed of Google Home versus Alexa. Google Home is faster, ever so slightly, and it's not worth uh, making any fuss about the, how fast it can go compared to Alexa, because the difference is milliseconds. Um, it makes no difference at all in the real world. Um, you can notice it, doesn't make a difference. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna play the video of me talking to them both. Um, and I'll come back later on when I'm talking you through the apps. So side by side, the Google Home and the Amazon Echo Dot. Which one's best? Let's uh, give it a few tests. Hey Google, tell me about my day. Good evening, Stuart. The time is 5.07 p.m. In Kirby and Ashfield, it's 13 degrees and partly cloudy. It'll be partly cloudy there with a forecast at high stop. of 30. From headlines from BBC News at 2.05. Alexa, tell me about my day. Here's your flash briefing. In Sky News. From the Sky News Centre at 4. Theresa May Alexa, has refused to confirm. Stop. Alexa, what would the weather be like today? Right now in Kirkby and Ashfield, it's 13 degrees with intermittent clouds. Tonight's forecast is cloudy Alexa, with a low of 3 degrees. Stop. Hey Google, turn on TV. Turn the TV on now. Alexa, turn on the living room light. Okay. Hey Google, turn off the TV. Turning the TV off now. Alexa, turn the living room red. Okay. 
and you can't really tell but the light has just gone to red in my living room hey google turn the living room blue sure changing two lights to blue okay so my room's now blue that's using my life x bulb now both of these connect to that no problem at all hey google i'm bored sorry to hear that i could give you a compliment if you fancy just ask for one hey google give me a compliment you're like an astronomer you make me want to reach for the stars <laughs> alexa i'm bored let's have some fun i have lots of easter eggs to discover for example say beam me up to hear a star trek reference for more hints just say give me an easter egg hey google talk like yoda try i will <laughs> Alexa, Easter egg. If I just give them away, it will be too quick. Ask me where to find a certain Texas Ranger with a stellar roundhouse kick. <laughs> Very good. Alexa, play Wild Hearts. Wild Heart by the Vamps. Alexa, stop. Not what I was hoping for. Um, I've not set up my Google Home to play music yet. Um, however, when it comes to music, I can use my Echo Dot to connect to my Wi-Fi speaker. I can't do that with my Google Home, because um, that will only throw music to anything that's got uh, a Chromecast attached to it, which is a bit of a pain. Um, but Something uh, I quite like, and I've been using a bit um, in my home on the Google Home, is a bit of a, a bit of a game show. So I'll give you, give you a demo of that. Hey Google, I'm feeling lucky. A game show? Yes. Hold on, let me get all my stuff together. <laughs> Welcome to. Are you feeling lucky? Who's asking the questions here? I guess I am. <laughs> I'm happy to say that I'll be your host today. How many want to play this time? One. One contestant it is. We'll do five questions. Great to have you in the game. While you're here, you get the extra special name Flamingo. Remember that. Okay. Let's play. You can always pop out of the game by saying stop. I hate to dredge up the past, but the topic is history. True or false? In medieval England, beer was often served with breakfast. True. <laughs> You're clever. That's right. Question number two is next. Hey Google, it's stop. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes. All right, thanks for playing. Alexa, what's my name? This device has only one account, Stuart's. Hey Google, what's my name? Your name is Stuart. Hey Google, call me Batman. You'd like me to call you Batman, is that right? Yes. Okay, got it. Hey Google, what's my name? Your name is Batman. Alexa, call me Batman. Sorry, I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Hey Google, where's my nearest chippy? The address for the Jolly Friar is the Jolly Friar, 94 Lowmore Road, Kirby and Ashfield, Nottingham N G177 BJ. Alexa, where's my nearest chippy? Based on your postcode settings, I found a model chippy nearby. It's 13.8 kilometers away on the Colonnade stores in Shirebrook. Alexa, it's open stop. From Alexa, wh where's my nearest chip shop? Based on your postcode settings, here are a few nearby popular ones. Sea Fresh, Sharkers Alexa, Traditional. Alexa, stop. Here are some more things to try. You can say, set volume to 
Or good morning in Chinese. Want some more? Yes. You can say how much are flights to London in two months? Or how tall is the Eiffel Tower? To see more examples, check out the Google Home app. Alexa, what do you think to Siri? I'm partial to all AIs. Alexa, what do you think to Cortana? I like all AIs. <laughs> hey Google, what do you think to Siri? We haven't officially met, but I reckon we'd totally be mates. Hey Google, what do you think to Cortana? I'm sorry, but I don't understand. Mm. So she doesn't know Cortana is an AI and is probably going to have a product launched uh, later this year as well. So what I want to do is kind of show you um, how long it takes both of these to, to do stuff. So at the minute, uh, my bulb is set to blue. Alexa, turn the living room white. Okay. It's pretty quick. Hey Google, turn the living room blue. Okay, changing two lights. And again, pretty quick. So there's nothing in it um, in terms of that. Hey Google, turn on the TV. Turn the TV on now. And again, it's really quick okay so the plan was to get to this point of the video and then show you the apps but I've already gone on for 17 minutes already which is way too long uh, if I was watching this my attention span isn't long enough so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another video which is just the apps so I'll do that separately uh, and I'll post the links up when it's uh, it's ready so there's the two products, the Google Home and the uh, Echo Dot. Uh, both amazing products. Um, whichever you choose, you've chosen a good one. Enjoy it. And please like, comment, uh, and let me know what you think of both. And please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you.